This is me, Sonoma Spotch, here with another episode of my Crusader Kings 2 Let's Play. I'm recording this later at night than usual. I'm sure you don't care. I don't know why I bring that sort of thing up. The name of the game tonight is Prestige. We have 5,260 of it, and we need about 8,000. Post haste. Before Marriage of the Bold dies, at least. That's my hope. Your hunting dog needs proper training if he is to perform well during hunts. Perhaps you should take a hand in this yourself. I'll spend the time outside training my dog because I want the health more than I want 20 prestige, even if I'm out for prestige. One thing I'm considering doing, I don't know how much this will get me, but if I can get 200 prestige a pop in uh, wars to turn people into... Um, Yeah, what is the word? Uh, to be, become the suzerain of people. Um, Mother-in-law. Now this cost me prestige. I didn't realize that the last time when I was turning down France. Someone told me later, so I'll just join wars. I don't really care. I imagine I get some for being in them, even if I don't really do much. Um, so I'll probably become the suzerain of Khmer. Um, tributary. I'll make them a tributary. And then uh, I plan to take over Jihad for Anatolia. Oof, that's bad. That's good in some ways, but bad in others, we'll say. Yeah, so... And then I do have this war here uh, that I do plan. That's a Shia Jihad. That's interesting. So I do have this claim here, I think. Yeah, to claim Venezia. So I can't do that until... for two more years. So I think what I'm going to do is check if this guy has any big allies. He does, Great Moravia, and Moesia, which aren't huge allies, I guess. Um, they could call in Sweden. So I'll hold off on it until I deal with Venice, because I want to have troops left to get Venice. Now, let's look at how many boats I'll reasonably be able to pull in. Okay, so 40 boats, that's 40,000 men. That should be more than enough to deal with Venice. Unlike our last war for Venice. Um, looks like the Cilicia thing is going okay. But yeah, I apologize. Why do we always do this? But uh, I told myself I wasn't going to say anything, but sorry for the wait in this video. I've been making weird little personal project videos, so I haven't had, you know, as much time as I should if I was doing things right. But, uh, you don't really care about that. You're here to talk about the Kingdom of Serbia at the turn of the millennium and other places like England. Hrodgar Nor the Ju Hrodgar Jute the Norman is currently fighting Eilfmar of Gloucester Gloucester should be able to say that it's just English but um, ooh a great white stag saddle my horse this is just the well, oh, it's just the war to lower crown authority, so he doesn't really have to worry about the one to get the one guy on top. Faithful catch. Yes, health. That's just what I wanted. Whew. That makes me happy. Dmitar wants to duel. Sure, I'll, I will allow the duel. 
I was seeing if there was a way to get me prestige out of it. Let us hope so. What I should be doing, I am at war. I was going to say, if I'm not at war, I should be doing a feast or a fair. Can I do a feast now? Oh, I'm hunting. Another year goes by. Are we past or are we getting close to the vanilla start? I always forget if it's 1061 or 1068 or something around there. But, you know, in another, in another alternate reality, there'd be a, some big goings on in England, almost similar to what we have now. Duke Budimir of Bosnia, Heinrich of Tyrol, has been viciously slandering me. Threaten Heinrich. Um, I'm doing with hunting right now, so I guess I'll try falconry. They laughed at the evidence. Wow. What a dick dastardly this man is, huh? Still likes me though. That's always good. He's content. That makes up for it, huh? Um, so I go to a cottage and meet a handsome young man. Well, handsome young man while I'm hunting is different than an old perverted man when I'm at my castle. And the benefits of getting free diplomacy for it and general opinion for two years, it's pretty nice. Um, I'll bring George back with me, sure. George of the Wilds. <laughs> wow, he's cool. Aspiring Falconer. Okay, sure. I'll help out our cousins. Run over to Praha and attach my 500 men. Yeah, that's 500 cavalry. Shouldn't turn your nose up at that, huh? Whoa, speaking of. Okay. He wants me to help out in a Greek revolt. Sure. I want to do a Gusar. Sure, I'll add another Gusar unit and leave that at home. That's another add on to my personal retinue. It's interesting stuff. Interesting times. So I have a landless son costing me stuff. Someone told me about this. Uh, so. I, in my lands, I will build castle in Zaklumia. Just give that to my son. He'll become me up here, and I'll just use that as, as son fodder. I might do that in Senge too once I get my money back up, so I can just have stuff to give to people who want free. Oh fuck. Really? Are you people mad? Oh yeah, get in there. I thought it was over. It's not over. It's not over. No. It is over. You know, I did an admiral about just, you know, by adding my troops. Killed a lot of them, but. Just run it back home. Yeah, we lost that. So 
Sorry, Ogier. These fucking pagans always know what to do, huh? Why is the church so rich while the peasants are so poor? Uh, because the poor... For the poor is the kingdom of heaven. Um, or... I'll go for charitable, maybe. That's good. That makes people like her. Even if that's not the answer that... Merja would probably give. But... I don't always have to be... role-playing. She's, she's become more proud and lustful in her age, too, so... She is bold. She's not marriage of the pious. She's marriage of the bold, no matter how pious she actually is, of course. I'll let Budimir and Uros and Josip go home. Uh, wait until I can do this nice little war here. I've got 14,000 men ready to dedicate. How many men do these guys have? 3,000. So they're currently fighting off the Mamudid. Vlastimir of Serbia claims he would be a better chancellor than Shanoi. That he would. The new bird is almost too perfect. Ooh, diplomacy. See if there's anyone that hates me around town. You know? Auto save. Twelve minutes. Okay, um. Everyone loves Maria. Maria. That's good. Shall I go back to fucking with Duke Amadeus the Old? I guess so. Amadeus. Raiders of Chief Emund of Lebeck have arrived to loot and pillage in Belgrade. Oh, they left. They had half a brain. What I haven't done for a while. It's so tucked away. Dwarf, no dwarves. Eunuch, no eunuchs. Designated regent will be. Saddle my horse. Will be uh, Vlastimir. Keeper of the swans. Let's go by rank. Wow, none of my dukes hate me. Or counts, even. Uh, Adalbero. Pitar. Pitar. Does not want to be the master of the horse. Budimir. Master of the hunt can be Heinrich. High Almoner can be Marco Serapian Pitar 
Zoran. Really? Come on, Trajan. Master Librarian, none. We spent weeks in the wilderness. Fuck, go for humble, I guess. Uh, Master Gardener, alright. That's all of it filled out. And then... Really? Fucking Ben Hilda. Burchard, what happened? You had a son, why did Buchard Buchardic not become? I don't want three separate things. I don't want th three separate duchies destined to be owned by one guy. So I'm going to make Ulrich of Crane, the Duchy Duke of Corinthia. Even though he's a German. I realize a lot of people are pissed now. More pissed than usual, I suppose. Even if none of them are mad at me. Like, none of, like the lowest is 55. Or the lowest Duke is 57, so... Just goes to show how popular Maria is. Can I declare war now? Yes, I can. Military... Meet here in Crane. You have money for mercenaries if we need them. Including boat mercenaries, I suppose. All boats get to Istria. Having a uh, Republican Duchy vassal in Venice will make me happy, I'm sure. Give me a feather in my cap above all these other fuckers. <laughs> Seriously, though, the rest of the Vlastimirovics need to get the lesson through their thick skulls that they shouldn't mat marry matrilineally. If you have a daughter, have some sons. So if you leave your daughter and let her inherit and she's an idiot and doesn't marry matrilineally, then I'm going to revoke their titles. Hello, Matiri. Sure, I'll help you against Lotharingia. How do I load these again? Okay, so I need to split this up a bit, I think. First things first. Family. Vlastimir. Grant landed title. Barony of Kaptuznia. There you go. So I can't. This is... How many can you carry? 4,000 men. Okay. Load. 
Okay, how do I invade? Okay, first I get out. Then I have them walk. There we go. Now we've figured it out, huh? And then I've got another 2,000 men that I will move on to here. Send them over to Venice. There we go. It's been a long time coming. But we've got it figured out. Move him over to Diodora. Do some extra sieging. Move them back to Istria and then disband them. Merge those. These are the forces arrayed against me. <laughs> and they're also being arrayed against some Shia. I've also got Greece on my side because I'm helping them out. What is this war about? French Holy War for Luxembourg. Holy War? Well, the Cathars. Got it, I think. It'll take some time. It might take longer than the video, but who knows? Maybe I'll run a little bit longer just so you can see Venice and Serbian hands. Queen Maria wanted to see a lot of great cities. fall into the hands of Serbia. And her, in her old age she might not be able to see Constantinople or Jerusalem in the hands of her family, but she can at least see Venice. My husband, the steward, has been honored for his skill. Thietmar has been released from Count Trajan. Yeah, yeah, I don't have the land yet, but I will. Don't really worry. Incredible reports. Channel my horse. Chasna. Educate. Serbian. Serapian. No, he's, he's shit. Me, I guess. I'll raise my daughter. Molina has married Cataldo of Italy, de Vasconia. Let's see how, what kind of prince Cataldo is. Is he the type of prince that matters? Or the type of prince that doesn't really matter. The type of prince that doesn't really matter. But, buys me an alliance for a little while. Teeth. Good job, thank you. How's Kaplichnia doing? 
build them some walls. Here, son, you can borrow some money to build some walls in your castle. Have you ever wished you'd hear that from your parents? <laughs> Time to go hunting. Queen Namina of Greece. It went well for my first daughter, huh? Spend weeks in the wilderness. Oh well. Fuck, I don't want arbitrary. I'll take the, the, the hit. It's a small hit. I should be able to make it back here. Five, six, six, six. Uh-oh. They're about to land men. Or not. My favorite subject does not interest me anymore, and I can't speak about it with the same zeal as before. Huh. There we go. That's what we needed. Now we've got... I don't know if we've got the ticking war score, but they don't anymore. I think is how it works. So we just sit and wait. I think I will extend this up to 35 minutes. Kotan, Bogar, Albogd, Tukarid, Asepid, Karakorokum, Karakorum, Kutan, Dashawas, that's my favorite. I like Dashawas as a state. Completely historical in every way and never existed. Wow, the Abbasids are attacking them for Merv. At Alito. Oh, we're seizing Venezia itself now. Oh, someone, they did land troops here, but I won. Hey, maybe I'll even... <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> there. Now, maybe I'll even record a second episode. I'm waiting on someone. I want to watch an episode of Common Rider. Wow. But, my friend is playing Overwatch. Which is a game I don't have. So... Wow, they actually formed the Kingdom of Lithuania. That is exciting stuff. That means he doesn't just own a bunch of duchies that'll go between all of his sons. He has a single kingdom that will go down to his most powerful son. Well, hey, I'm all for it, Lithuania. You might be, you're actually Lithuanian, you're actually removing, and you're not Russia, like I wanted, but at least you're not some weird fucking horde culture. Yudmila Vasilova, let her rot. They're landing like 22 men on Venice to try and <laughs> kick me out here. Okay, move to Spalatos. What's going on over here? Am I at war with... Wow, I'm at war with Bulgaria too. German, what are you doing? You crazy. If you really want me to come over and fuck over Bulgaria so bad, I mean, I have it in my plans. So I will. Just let me deal with this little strip first, and then I'll come over and fuck with you. How about that? Slavko. Hello. Your dad was old, huh? George of the Wild would be a better spy master, huh? Then Lukoman? Sure. I had sex with you. 
You can be my ruler. I mean, not my ruler, my spy master. Barbara of Bulgaria. She looks kind of cool, huh? Her nose could be better, but she's got that cool scar and hair. Doesn't have a double chin. Oh, she got maimed. She might not be long for the world. But they, yeah, they have other stuff to worry about right now. Petar, Estragam has... Petar the second of Estragam have died. Wait, so... Petar one, so Petar the second. I just got it, okay. Siege of Rialto. Folkard. Kavsna is now of legal age. Oof. Baron Tomidus of Mordor. For a second there I thought it says Mordor, but uh, that is not the case. Closest thing to that is I know in uh, Europa Universalis 3 and maybe 4 there's a place called Saruhan over here. And for some reason their coat of arms is a white hand. Which is course close to Saruman who used the white hand. Methodius? No thank you. So I don't know if you know it's a joke like Jan Mayen where they oh look Saruhan has a has a white hand symbol like Saruman that uh, Paradox did but Successful Jihad. Wow. So there's only a couple of places left for the Byzantines. That's not good. That means Greece might try and form this empire I want. Caliph Mahmud. Hopefully he focuses more on the, the Sunnis before me, but who knows. Procopius I will allow the duel. Battle of Murano. Kate Chasna, I'll find you a husband. You can marry Hughes. Go ahead. One more should do it. Get out of here, Bulgarians. Joseph and Uros are going to fuck you up. We're very close to 35 minutes, so I'll see if I can't finish this war up in this next battle here. Might give me 7%, I doubt it. Maybe I'll just wait until I get Venetia, and then I'll end the video there. Because I'm pretty close either way. 
Wow, she's already known as the unfaithful, huh? <laughs> Thanks, Chasna. Wow, less than 2,000 left. Okay, so Gisolo. Who is Gisolo? Euthatios. Um, I'll revoke title. Yeah, I don't care. Give me your title. There now. I get a Serbian. Wall said, hey, Lax, man, you want to do the Amazon? That's the guy who wants to do Amazon with me. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, so, let me find the guy. Uros. I'm going to change his name to... Uh, Odvenis. There you go. Uh, city of Gisolo. So he is a mayor and now I grant him the Duchy of Venice. So now Venice is owned by a merchant republic who is my vassal. And it is a Serbian. They are Serbians. They're not Venetians. They're not Italians. They're not Greeks. Serbians. Alright. Well, I'll get into that war. And I will end the episode here for tonight. Um, thanks for watching and have a nice day, everybody.